Oh, welcome folks, I am Technivorous. Today we are taking a look at the new Kira 5.3 beta. Make sure you reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button and give that notification bell a good first layer squish so we can get notified anytime we post a new video. I do regularly do Kira videos. Let's check out what's new in this beta version. And right out of the gate we have basically what is the newest big addition to Kira 5.3 and that is the interlocking structure. So with this you can use two different filaments that are technically incompatible and do not fuse together. And it will generate this pattern inside that will allow them to lock together. So we're gonna be checking that out. They give us a specific model on the website that is this interlocking crop clip. We'll give it a try here in just a minute. Let's see what else is new. Next on the list is the improved print quality and better brims. This is also having to do with uh, the Z seam. As you can see in here, they should be aligned more evenly when using the sharpest corner and they should be a little bit more random when selecting none. Uh, it's also allowing you to choose different brim sizes for different materials if you have a multi-material printer. So we're seeing a lot of updates here for people who are using more than one extruder or um, more than one uh, uh, extruder in the same hot end, basically a Cyclops or, or anything that's extruding more material than just a single kind. And here's a good one. I actually stand firmly behind this. I think it was a great change, and we'll take a look at this in just a minute and do some comparisons. But they basically changed the recommended print settings to the most commonly changed settings. So um, in there now are the infill pattern, support placement, and more. You can save the changes to those settings for future prints. So that's pretty cool as well. And the final change is 75 more new third-party printers added. So there's a big list of things that are actually a little bit more in-depth than their three little flashcards there. Uh, so let's quickly look over the other new features and improvements. Uh, improve Z-Seam, fix the order in which concentric patterns are printed. Uh, this is basically just to reflect a merger that they went through. Tooling to automatically generate files to reduce the chance of human error. Uh, improved onboarding so it's easier to add your first printer. Lots of cool stuff. Options to download .msi and .pkg for easier software distribution. Those are for different types of boards. Um, added settings for support interface wall line count. That's kind of cool. Brim inside, avoid margin setting. There's a lot here. As you can see when you go through these, there's usually something by Bagel Orb. I'm surprised to see nothing from uh, some of the regular contributors that are usually on here. But there's lots of bug fixes too, as you can see. Um, Whole expansion wasn't working, uh, fuzzy skin got fixed, so there's a lot here uh, to go through. We're not going to go through it all. They did add, like I said, 75 new printers, so that's a big deal. And this is a big change over what came out in 5.2.2 or 5.2.1. Those are, those are uh, minor releases. The last major was 5.20. And uh, let's move on here. Let's go ahead and grab this model here. i got to open up my download folder because I did just get this thing. And we will drag it in and see how this setting works. Okay, so right now, we're going to move the pieces together here. Excuse me, that's my phone. And we're going to look for this individual setting. Not sure where to find it because I haven't used it yet. So let's see here. Let's try searching for interlocking. Let's see if we find anything there. Link support, mesh fixes, union. Mm, well, it looks like we're gonna have to dig a little bit deeper. So we are looking in experimental. We are looking for generate interlocking structure. seeing it in here which is really really annoying so if we do a little bit more digging we'll find it uh -huh. okay so you can't just search for experimental settings you actually have to go in and turn them on so uh, you can click on that little button there and click we're gonna click all of these because these have to do with interlocking so and then we'll hit those. Now we should be able to see them here. 
should be. Although I'm not sure why they wouldn't put this under dual extrusion. Now I have a billion settings. Okay. Um, But oddly, it still won't let me. Uh, still won't let me use the one I want here. There is one other alternative solution here. So this is actually um, a let's see, non Ultimaker printer. I think it's not letting me use it because I have a single extruder on here. Um, but we can check out their website. I'll show you what this interlocking picture kind of looks like here. You can see horribly. Let's see here. There we go. Uh, you can see that it kind of weaves them together in this pattern so that they're meshed together. And if you go through the layers, they are kind of alternating. So that way, it pretty much locks the pieces in there. The idea with this piece is it's a little clip. You're gonna print the flexi part in the middle so you can sponge it or spring it. <laughs> and then uh, hard plastic on the outside and you can use it as a clip. So it's pretty cool. It's a great addition to Kira. I do have a dual extruding machine that I would love to test this out on. So when the full version comes out, stick around, and make sure that you're ready for that video. I will release a video on the full release version of Kira 5.3 when it is ready and available. But for now, I highly recommend you check out the beta. There's lots of cool stuff to check out, lots of additions, and lots of bug fixes. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Technivorous out. I will see you in the next one.